Following the cross-linking of our heat shrinkable tubing, we can then take it into the expanded state. And in the expansion step, above the crystalline melt temperature, we then expand it 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 6 to 1, 8 to 1, whatever the shrink ratio needs to be. And we cool it back down in that expanded state. Once the material gets back below its crystalline melt temperature, the rigidity and stiffness reforms in the material and we can then cut it and ship it to customers. So we ship it to customers in the expanded state. It's below its crystalline melt temperature. Then when they want to install the product, they will heat it up either with a torch or in an oven above the crystalline melt temperature. Once it's above that crystalline melt temperature, the, the crystallinity in the material disappears. The cross-links remember that unexpanded state of when they were cross-linked, and they will automatically want to shrink back down. And that's when the shrinking of the heat shrink tubing occurs.